Hey guys, it's Bren, and today I'm here with a Bath & Body Works haul, uh, mostly candles, a few other things. I've got a couple soaps, some little items, um, and I also, as part of the candle haul, I have three of the, I think there's going to be five, weekly candle drop candles. Um, they are supposedly in-store exclusive, limited quantities. I have had no problem getting a hold of the first three, uh, but I'll share those with you as well. So um, let's go ahead and get started. It's been a while since I've done a video. I think I'm a little rusty here. Uh, we'll start with the weekly candle drop. Before I get into the scents specifically, just some quick thoughts on this promotion. And then, so if you're not interested in that, go ahead and skip ahead. Um, but, you know, when I first heard about this weekly candle drop thing on social media, I, I was filled with anxiety. I kind of was like, oh, that sounds like a nightmare that some stores were only getting in six of them and people were lining up right when the stores opened to get a hold of the candle on the day that it came out because they were only going to be offered in stores and, you know, whatever limited quantities, whatever that means. And I just thought, oh my gosh, it's like candle day every day or, or like candle day every week. That sounds like so much work, so much trouble to go to uh, to get these candles. And I wasn't interested in doing that. But plus I would have to like take off work and stuff. Like I can't go once a week and stand outside of the store when they open. Um, however, um, I really had no issue. So the first one that came out was the candied maple bacon and there were some stories online of people like not being able to get them. Their store really didn't get very many, but uh, I didn't even go on Thursday when it came out. I ended up being next to the store the next day on Friday. So I was like, oh, I'll check. And I went in and there were still plenty of them. <laughs> so I got one the next day. And then the next week, um, when this one came out, I did buy online, pick up in store. So to reserve one for myself. So then I was like, cool, you know, I don't have to rush and get it. But I did go get it like a little bit later that day. And they still had plenty. And then today being Saturday, they decided to drop one. So it was a Thursday, then the next Thursday, and then Saturday. So now it's like, twice a week. I don't, it's not really a weekly drop anymore. I don't know. But I was like, oh, I am not getting up and going on a Saturday. I had a lot to do today. Uh, so I did buy online, pick up in store again. But still, when I got there at like 3 p.m., they still had plenty of the uh, chocolate espresso martini. And so no issue. No, they still today, they still had these two there as well. So none of them have sold out at my store yet. Uh, but anyway, let's go ahead and uh, talk about the scents. <laughs> so it, it's an interesting thing that they're doing. It's, it's I'm caught now I'm kind of into it with the buy online pick up in store. I'm like, that's fine. I can totally like wake up and buy a candle online. Um, I wonder what's going to happen if one of these comes out when there's not a sale. Uh, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Let's go ahead and get into the scents. So these candles I'm not burning. Uh, a couple of the other candles I'm going to share with you I have burned so I can give you a post burn review or my thoughts after having burned them. But these these I'm pretty much just collecting. So these are just cold sniff thoughts, which may or may not be useful to you. Um, but if you're interested in my take, here we go. Candied maple bacon. It says crispy bacon, maple brown sugar, and smoked apple wood. So this is, you know, I was surprised it's semi-realistic. Um, I would never burn this. Even if I had five million of them, I there's no way I would want this smell in my house. I'm not a big fan of smoked anything. That's just a personal thing with me. Um, not really a fan of like grilled food. And I don't eat meat, but even when I did, I didn't like bacon. Um, not really into anything on the grill, just kind of not into that char smoky flavor. I don't like mezcal. <laughs> um, so that's just not my thing. This has a lot of that, sort of like their fireside candle or their campfire pumpkin, like that smokiness, but then, yeah, it's very salty and, and meaty as well. I surely only got this for collector's sake and I just, you know, got the one. I have no use for this in any way other than just I'm a collector, but I will never burn that. I, I I feel like after I sniff it, the smell gets like stuck in my nose and I keep, like smell it for hours. So I can't imagine if I actually burned it, what it would do to my house. You know what it kind of smells like? Dog treats. Kind of smells like dog, maybe a little smokier than that, but yeah, smoked dog treats. Pass on that. 
Um, the next one was the Sweater Weather Sweet Cinnamon Pumpkin mashup that they did. So it says Juniper Berries, Eucalyptus, Warm Cinnamon, and Ground Clove. I like those scents a little bit. I like the way that Sweater Weather smells on cold. Sweater Weather uh, burning, uh, the performance isn't always there for me. I feel like you mostly just get the eucalyptus when it's burning, but I, I've always liked Sweater Weather on cold sniff more than I have liked it burning. And Sweet Cinnamon Pumpkin is like, not offensive or anything, but I'd rather burn almost any of their other pumpkin scents that are a little bit more unique. It's a pretty basic, you know, fall scent. Um, this is okay smelling on cold sniff. I get mostly sweater weather first and then there's like spice at the end. So it's like sweater weather up front and then it ends with a little bit of that pumpkin spice. In particular, I get a lot of clove just kind of at the end. It does smell very, very much like fall. But anyway, not gonna burn that either. And then today I picked up the chocolate espresso martini. Notes are coffee liqueur, espresso, vodka. Yeah, because vod vodka has a smell. Um, and dark chocolate swirl. I mostly just find this one kind of boring. It's like so many of their other scents that they've put out. It kind of smells like chocolate grams. It kind of smells like, I don't know, pick a chocolate scent that they've done. <laughs> um, perhaps there's just a little bit of a subtle coffee note in there, but that's not really strong either. It's just vaguely chocolatey and sweet. And I'm sure that there are better comparisons that people have made, uh, but it, I mean, pick any of them, pick any of their chocolate scents. It's just not really standing out or unique to me, um, but it's cute. It is cute. So that's the first three in the weekly candle drop uh, promotion. And then there's going to be the salted caramel pretzel one that comes out, which I can't imagine is too much different than salted pretzel milkshake. Um, and then there's the Thanksgiving one that smells like mashed potatoes and gravy and stuff, which just like with the bacon one, like, I'll get one, but I'm probably not going to burn that in my home. Uh, it's interesting. It's kind of fun. It's been kind of fun. Um, again, it would, it would not be fun if they were like every store only got six and they were selling out if you didn't get there in the first five minutes, then I would be passing on the whole thing. But since it has not been <laughs> like that for me, at least, um, it has been, you know, kind of fun. And I definitely appreciate buy online, pick up in store. Um, for these last two because I haven't had to worry that they wouldn't be there when I went or rushed to the store or whatever, right? But I also got some other candles which I have burned. So moving into the rest of the haul, I picked up a blueberry cotton candy. So the notes on this are ripe main blueberries, spun sugar, and vanilla. And as a lot of people have been pointing out, it's so very similar to blueberry sugar. I do think it's a little different, but like so, so very close. Blueberry sugar, if you've smelled it, and it comes out usually every year around winter, for some reason around winter time, <laughs> it smells more like a summer candle, but it's um, just kind of light and sweet, a little bit maybe creamy. And this one smells a little bit more like sugar and sweetness, uh, a little more like, like juicy, like a Kool-Aid type of, maybe like a drink or something, um, as opposed to the blueberry cotton candy, which is... 90% the same at least, but a little bit warmer. Almost like there's a tiny bit of like, maybe like blueberry pie, the blueberry pie candle kind of, or that blueberry, uh, iced blueberry biscotti, like a little of that creeping in to where it's a little bit, there's something a little bit more gourmand, a little bit more of like a warm brown sugary note, which doesn't make sense for it being called blueberry cotton candy, but that's just what I'm getting. They just feel so close, 90 to 95% the same. But if I were going to say there's a difference, this one's just a little bit warmer. Um, and this one's a little bit more refreshing. Blueberry sugar's a little more refreshing. Blueberry cotton candy, a little bit warmer with a little bit more of like a um, buttery bakery note in there. But like, they're really, really close. Um, and burning, I felt like they were really close too. I felt like this just, it seemed like I was burning blueberry sugar. Um, not as intense as blueberry pie at all. I have really come to like iced blueberry biscotti. Um, not, it's not as bakery as that though. 
And I probably don't prefer it over any of those. This isn't something that I would say you need if you have other blueberry candles from Bath and Body Works because it's so similar, but it is good. So if you're just new to collecting Bath and Body Works candles, you don't have blueberry sugar or any of these other ones that I've mentioned at all, and you like blueberry, then I think it's really good. Like you should get it. I'm for someone like me, I don't need it. <laughs> it's not new, but it is good. I have enjoyed a lot of the blueberry scents that they've put out recently. Nothing wrong with it, and I think there's good packaging, and the burn was absolutely great on it. Uh, so that's my uh, review of blueberry cotton candy. The next one, not as great of a review, um, hometown sugar cookies. So notes on this are warm sugar cookies, ground cinnamon, fresh nutmeg, sprinkled with sugar, They've done a lot of cookie scents over the years. They've done a lot of vanilla scents, and this one doesn't stand out. Um, I also, I'm not really sure I'm too crazy about it. On Cold Sniff, I wasn't getting so much of a, on Cold Sniff it smelled pretty much just like vanilla. Um, almost like the, if you took like, I don't know, again, they've had so many scents like this, but I was kind of thinking about pumpkin cookie dough when I was comparing it, but this one has so much more like spice and it has like pumpkin spice in it. And this just doesn't, but it's not exactly the same as like their frosted cupcake or buttercream frosting. Um, it's, it's a little bit more bakery than that, but it's not as sweet as, what is it, pumpkin sugar cookie, which almost had like a maple note to it. It was so sweet. This isn't like that either. It's really, really very plain, but after burning it, I noticed that I'm getting a lot of, it smells kind of like a, a, the cone of an ice cream cone. Not the ice cream part, just like an ice cream cone itself for some reason. Almost like it's not sweet enough, but like a plain ice cream cone. That's kind of what it smells like to me. But again, not the ice cream, just the cone part. So again, kind of boring. I'm just not really thrilled with it. Um, I don't think it's terrible, but eh, not really recommending it. Um, did an online order and got the online exclusive this time around at least, warm apple pie. Warm apple pie has been coming out for years. It's a bit on the lighter side. This one smells really strong, but I literally just like got home from the store, to, brought this in off my porch, opened it up, and I'm putting it in the video. So I haven't burned this version, but I've burned warm apple pie many times before. The notes are baked Granny Smith apple, melted brown sugar, and homemade, flaky homemade crust. And it's a really good, I think, just kind of like crowd-pleasing scent if you're having people over or something. It's not too strong. Um, most people like apple. Most people like bakery scents. I, I don't know. I like it. I was running low on my, you know, <laughs> supply of warm apple pie. So I was like, let me grab another one of those. Since I was doing an online order um, for myself and for my mom. So there's one more candle I'm going to talk about, but it's not mine. This is one that my mom uh, had me throw in the order for her. So again, I haven't burned this yet, but it, it's sweet cinnamon plum. You know, the packaging on this one is so nondescript. I never even saw it in the store, but, uh, the notes are juicy plum, cinnamon apples, and ground clove buds. And I tell you what, I really like it. But it reminds me of their winter scents. This reminds me, I get plum and I get the cinnamon. But it also kind of reminds me of like, I don't know, like maybe like their, like one of their Bellini scents, one of their drink scents that they do in the winter. It has a vibe like that. It feels very Christmassy. I don't know, she said I could burn it, but I don't want to take the first, you know, the first burn is always the best, and it's her candle, not mine, but now I'm kind of intrigued, and I, I might want to get one. I don't know, I might have to get one. <laughs> we'll see, maybe I will burn it, um, just a little bit, you know, just a little bit, just to see. It's pretty good, but yes, very holiday-like, and I think you do have to, like, plum smells a lot like some of their plum body care and then it's it's pretty heavily spiced so this reminds me of winter time more than fall but it's actually pretty good that's what I've got for candles um, sorry I only have a couple that I've actually burned someone made a comment on my Instagram not long ago that my 
uh, videos are useless because I have not burned the candles. What's the point? They can just go to the store themselves and smell them. <laughs> and I get it, but like the analytics show that haul videos do way better than post burn reviews on YouTube. So someone must care. I don't know. I've had people tell me before that are like, they live in rural areas. It's not easy for them to get to a store or they live in other countries and they just want to know what people's first impressions are. But you know, lots of haul videos out there of things that people could go check out themselves if they wanted to, but just don't want to, right? I don't know. I'm, I don't, I'm just here. You don't have to watch. <laughs> All right. I got a couple soaps right here. So I got pomegranate and blackberry and I got raspberry jam. And I also had a free pocket back coupon. So I got the raspberry jam pocket back. So I like this one, but you know me, I like sweetie fruit, fruity sweet things. I feel like at first it kind of just seems like raspberry, but then at the end uh, of it, you get something that makes it seem kind of, oh yeah, that is like jam. That does kind of smell like jam. I don't know. I'm pretty excited. The pocket back has been really good so far um, for a pocket back. I mean, you know, it's not doing much, but I don't know. It's just, it's fun. It's sweet. I don't think it's an exact repackage of any other soap that they've put out. It seems new. Now the pomegranate and blackberry very juicy very it almost has like a cherry uh kind of feel to it but it definitely has kind of a kool-aid vibe fruit punch type of vibe uh i don't know i like it i just wanted to pick up a couple more soaps because i'm actually kind of running low on fall soaps i have a lot of um winter and summer soap scents in my arsenal and like nothing for fall um okay and then other random things. Had a, a freebie for a shower, a small body care, and I grabbed a warm vanilla sugar shower gel just because, I don't know. Um, they're really promoting the warm vanilla sugar now as like returning scent. And yeah, smelling it does kind of remind me of junior high a little bit. <laughs> That's it's been around forever. Um, I also had coupon freebie for a pumpkin pecan waffles hand or for a hand cream and I chose pumpkin pecan waffles because every, all the other little hand creams that they have out right now like I've had I've used I have them the hand cream selection right now is kind of boring to me um I have a pumpkin cupcake in my purse already that I'm using but yeah very sweet <laughs> smells like the candle Whew, yes that is sweet Last thing I picked up with a reward is this lip tint. They've got these new lip tints now. Um, some of the old, so they had these older lip tints once upon a time. They were all named after flowers, and I had this one called lilac. It didn't look like a lilac color. It was actually like a darker pink like this, and I really liked it. Um, so I was like, well, let me try these new ones. And you know what? I really like this too. So it's just a little hint of color. Which is why, I mean, this is the darkest one that they have. This is the one called, it's something, that wine? So I don't know if I, label doesn't say, okay, but the color is called like wine something or other. Um, but yeah, it's like kind of dark cranberry color or wine color. I got the darkest one because it's such, it's like almost see-through, you know, it's not a lipstick. It's very, it's very sheer and light. So the lighter colors, like the light pink one, I don't know if you would even see that at all on your lips, but sometimes... I don't want like a lip, I don't want to wear a lipstick. It looks a little, like a little too much, or I don't want to be that worried about like messing it up or whatever, right? But I just want like a little bit of color. Um, and I, I like this. I would buy more of these, although they're $12.50 or they always do the buy two, get one on these. So kind of expensive, but again, I got it with a reward. But yeah, I, I, I like it. I do wish they had other darker colors. I think the only other color that was at all dark was like a hot pink kind of which I don't know how that would look on me um but I'm into it so that's it those are the main things that I have picked up lately and if I end up getting the other two weekly exclusive drop candles I will surely post about them on Instagram um and if I have further thoughts um I'll post them here or there or somewhere, but thank you so much for watching. My Instagram is at Candles and Music if you are interested in following, and I will talk to you all later. Have a good weekend. Bye.
what I have to deal with when I'm filming. <laughs>